Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Except for today, because we are going to do a bit of a Q&A. You've all submitted your inquiries and there were a lot of questions, I stress. A lot of questions, much more than I thought I would get, and I've tried to answer as many as possible, so if I don't get to yours then I am very sorry. But enough people submitted questions this time that I think we'll make this a regular thing. So regardless, let's get into it. Are you planning to marry? Are you already married? Would you like to have kids? And if so, will you show them One Piece? So yes, I am already married. I got married in July last year, which was really weird because it was around the exact same time that the whole Sanji pudding wedding ceremony was happening. We have no immediate plans for kids, but if we do have them, then you bet your ass I'll be showing them One Piece. And just while we're on the topic of marriage, we have another question. Does your wife love you in spite of or because of your One Piece obsession? Saludos from Spain. So firstly, hey there Spain, I was there a couple of years ago and you have a pretty damn beautiful country. As for your question, I think it's best for my wife to answer. Ah! Bueno noche, buenos días, depends. I don't know. Um, como, no. Yes, como estas? Um, anyway. Um, I mean, like, I'm still here. Thanks, honey. <laughs> No, I, I, I love him because of and in spite of. He spends a large amount of time One Piece obsessed. And, you know, there are there's a lot of bookshelf space that's now gone because of all of the copies of One Piece. By the end of the year, I'm going to need another shelf. Yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> what is your opinion about Bleach as a whole and separately about its ending? You cool. <laughs> Thank you. So Bleach is a really tragic tale in my mind. I honestly think that up until the end of the Soul Society arc, Bleach is one of the greatest mangas I have ever read. But for me, it went downhill super quickly with the Arankar arc. And about halfway through that, I stopped reading and watching Bleach entirely. So I actually haven't read the ending, but I have heard about how it was cut short. And even though I haven't paid attention to the series in almost a decade, it does hurt the teenage Bleach fan inside of me to know that the series ended on such a horrible note. Okay, dude, how about this? Your personal life. Where do you live? What are you doing and stuff? All right, I live in Sydney, Australia, and I'll take the what are you doing and stuff to mean what do you do for a living? And to answer that, I work in the wonderful world of theatre as a freelance practitioner. Quite specifically in the area of lighting as a technician, designer, operator, and programmer. Sometimes I also become a stage manager as well if the right opportunity comes up, but that's much more rare. Would you do chopper? Uh, look, probably not for a wide variety of reasons, but most prominently because bestiality isn't really my thing. And for most of the series, Chopper is underage, and I'm just not keen on going to jail. What made you start watching One Piece? What chapter did you start at? And what's your favorite and least favorite straw hat? Oof, many questions there. Right, so the first part of that is a really long story, actually. It took me a super long time to get properly into One Piece, but essentially I was first exposed to the series through the 4Kids dub. Ooh, hiss, yes I know. And naturally it completely turned me off One Piece, except for one day when I was channel surfing, landed on Cartoon Network, and I saw Zoro, who to this day is my personal favorite straw hat. His design really captivated me and inspired me to look up more about One Piece, which led me into watching subbed episodes, and eventually I went through the entire manga series, which at the time ended at chapter 387, which was the debut of Gear Second, and I've been reading weekly ever since. As for my least favorite straw hat, look, it's probably Usopp. He's come a long way in my mind, and I really love him these days, but I like everyone else just that little bit more. Although it should probably be said that up until the Whole Cake Island arc, I probably would have said that Brook was my least favorite, just because we hadn't really seen much of him, but he was just such a boss during Whole Cake Island that there's no way I could call him my least favorite. You've already answered this one for me, but just for everybody's sake, what happened to the One Piece 101s on the original Straw Hat Pirates? Yeah, so for newer viewers on my channel, we used to have One Piece 101s for all of the Straw Hat crew. In fact, they were the original nine videos in the series. But one day, a few months ago, one of them was flagged by Shueisha because I'd used some manga material in it. And after that, I decided to take all nine of them down because they all had manga stuff in them and I didn't want to be flagged multiple times and have the channel taken down. But that's probably for the best because they were some of my very first videos on YouTube and and they weren't produced particularly well. So I do plan on remaking them at some stage soon. I've been wanting a Q&A for ages, mate. There's one thing I wanted to know. Technically multiple, but eh, screw it. What equipment do you use to create your videos, such as microphone, type of laptop, or desktop computer? What softwares? And any other information that fits into this category. I would also like to know how long does scripting a video usually take? Do you even script your videos? 
In regards to equipment, I have a super simple setup. My microphone is a Rode NT-USB, which is pretty damn decent quality for its price. I record in Audacity and edit on Final Cut Pro on my long-suffering MacBook Pro. I do have a desktop that I use sometimes as well, but more often than not, I edit videos while I'm on the train or have time to kill outside of the house. So I try to keep everything easily mobile. As for scripting, oh my yes, I'm not one of those people who can easily and coherently convey their thoughts. So I prefer to take the time to write things out, although I don't generally read the script word for word unless it's a One Piece 101, or something like that where focus is more on objective content rather than subjective content. Where I can just go with the flow like chapter reviews or top 5 lists. The only videos that are not scripted whatsoever are the My Wife Explains ones because that just counts on her babbling on. As for how long the scripts take, it varies. The One Piece 101 ones tend to take the longest, say an hour or two, because they involve much more research than anything else, whereas I can easily just write up a top five list in like 10 minutes. Because depending on the subject matter, I'm just pulling crap out of my head and arranging it in an appealing order. Will you do other anime besides One Piece? I still love your One Piece content. Thank you very much. I definitely have plans to cover other anime and manga series within the format I've applied to One Piece because it seems relatively successful. The thing that I'm really questioning though is whether I would cover another anime series on this channel or whether I would have to start a new channel. Because at the moment this is pretty strictly geared towards One Piece and I love that and that's what you've all subscribed for. So if you all started getting notifications for a series you don't care about then that's probably not great. I also need to say that there's probably a very limited pool of series that I would consider covering outside of One Piece because I really need to love something to put this kind of work into it. At the moment I could only really see myself doing that sort of thing for Hunter x Hunter or My Hero Academia. Or maybe even Dragon Ball actually. But at the moment I'm just not sure that I have a strong enough passion to do any other series justice. Any Patreon plans? Do you enjoy your day job, whatever that may be? I'm looking into Patreon because it's becoming clear that YouTube is really stacking the deck against smaller creators and trying to build a sustainable channel with YouTube alone is almost impossible. When I do go down the Patreon route, I want to make sure that all patrons are actually getting something decent for their money, while simultaneously not neglecting the rest of my fantastic audience who either can't donate or simply don't want to, because that's an entirely valid choice. But if you are an individual who would consider becoming a Patreon member, please do let me know what sort of rewards you would expect for your membership. I have a pretty big list of ideas already, but it never hurts to ask. All right, now we have a three-parter from Sean Howard. Why does the hat in your logo look like it came from a land of geometry? Because I created it using simple shape tools in Photoshop. When can we see more of your wife? She clearly knows more than you. I'm consistently trying to find the time to sit down with her and have her grace us with more of her awe-inspiring knowledge of One Piece. She really likes the comments on her video, so I will say that if you want to see more of her, then make sure you comment on the My Wife Explains One Piece videos. I'm That's talking the about absolute you. absolute truth. In your opinion, what is the most efficient way to solve quadratic equations? Uh, I would say ignore them till they go away. How many years do you think One Piece will continue? This is a rough one, because 10 years ago I would have said 10 more years. And now 10 years later, I'd still like to say 10 more years. I just feel like there's so much left to do and resolve, and arcs in the new world take a phenomenal amount of real world time. I mean, I expect Wano will run for at least two years. That's just dealing with Kaido, and after that we've got Blackbeard, the world government, getting to Raftel, actually becoming the Pirate King, Elbaf, and god knows how many unexpected characters and islands to go. So I think the bare minimum needed to resolve everything is 10 more years, but it could go on for much longer. What minor villain do you think has the best power slash fruit? And that's gotta be Foxy, right? His fruit is actually absurdly powerful. Slowing things down by 30 seconds would be an automatic victory if that fruit was in the hands of any capable devil fruit user. What's your favorite animal from One Piece? Are you going to do a video on the coolest animals inhabiting the One Piece world? Thanks. You've definitely read my mind. I'm not sure if it will be out by the time this video goes out, but I've already made a top five best dogs list, which I'm pretty excited about. And I also plan on making more videos regarding the animals in One Piece because the world is full of such amazing creatures. If I had to pick a favorite, it's definitely the South Bird though. They have a really cool design and concept, plus they're just such dicks, they're great. What other hobbies or passions do you have aside from reading, watching One Piece? Do you enjoy manga anime as a whole? Video games? Maybe a stripper in a Victorian style strip club. You yeah, know, the usual forms of entertainment. Look, I'm not gonna say that a Victorian style strip club doesn't pique my interest, but yeah, other hobbies of mine do include anime and manga in general, as well as video games. To get specific, I really enjoy the Civilization games. I used to be into StarCraft 2 quite a bit, and I tend to go back to Diablo 2 at least once a year. But my friendship group is very much more into board games, and I personally really enjoy hidden role games like Resistance Avalon or Secret Hitler. Who's your favorite character? of all of One Piece.
I've answered this before, sort of, but it's definitely Zoro. But because that's the boring answer, I'll also throw in that I love Crocodile, Kaido, and very recently, Charlotte Katakuri. How strong is your faith? God Usopp must know. Praise Usopp. I am disgusted that you even need to ask me that. I am a devout follower of God Usopp, and it is my life's mission to spread his tenets to the world. Praise Usopp. What anime manga besides One Piece do you watch and read? What's your top 10? Uh, I'm not going to give you a top 10, but here's an arbitrary list of anime and manga that I really enjoy. My Hero Academia, Hunter x Hunter, Kill the Kill, Shokugeki no Soma, or Food Wars, whatever you want to call it. ReZero, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, One Punch Man, most of the Fate series and classics, like Neon Genesis, Cowboy Bebop, Trigun, Roroni Kenshin, and various Gundam series. There's a lot more, those are just the ones that immediately pop off the top of my head. I also really used to like Naruto, Bleach, Fairy Tail, and Attack on Titan, but fell out of love with them for various reasons. Okay, so like maybe five questions could do, and some of these I've already answered, so I'm going to skip them. What is your favorite One Piece opening so far? It's a toss up between Brand New World and Kokoro no Chisu, although I do also really like One Day. Who is your big titty waifu in One Piece? Look, it changes, but right now it's Baby Five. And finally, what are you doing in my swamp? And look, this swamp is public property and I can be here whenever I like. Next up, Don Quixote Doflamingo asks, why did I lose? And to put it simply, it's because you got too arrogant. And why you put the real Mera Mera no me in that damn chest, I'll never know. You just sort of kept it and said it was in there. What do you think Gecko Moria will be in Wano? Up until recently, I didn't think Moria would be in Wano at all. It was the furthest thought from my mind, but it does make sense given that he is so driven to defeat Kaido. But if he does have a role, I hope it's brief because we don't need him ruining another arc. Was there ever a point you stopped watching One Piece? Yes, absolutely. There was a point where I stopped watching entirely. It was after any slobby because as good as that arc is, the animation was pretty garbage and it brought in a whole new age of really terrible One Piece animation and even worse pacing. To this day, I find the anime really painful and disappointing to watch. I only really tune in to see how they do key events or to get screen caps for my videos. In fact, that's a huge part of why I don't do weekly anime reviews because it would just be me going on for 10 minutes about how bad the episode was compared to the manga and that gets old pretty quickly. What was your motivation, reason, to start a YouTube channel for One Piece. I'm glad that you did. I'm glad that you're glad that I did. I was primarily motivated to start the channel because One Piece is one of my greatest loves in the world and there was pretty much nothing on YouTube that I could stand watching. Nothing against the other YouTubers out there who were wildly more successful than me, but their content just didn't grab me, especially the ones who just talk on face cams. Generally, they also really didn't talk about the subjects that interest me either. On YouTube at the moment, it's mostly theories about the same old thing over and over again, or stuff like ranking the worst generation or bounty speculation, etc. And I definitely do that stuff to some degree, but the world of One Piece is absolutely absolutely massive and has so many miscellaneous details that either go unnoticed or unspoken. That's why I also do weird things like the top five best dogs or the top five best masks in One Piece, because while it's a pretty standard top five format, at least it can try to present some fresh ideas, maybe. Did the dub of One Piece just randomly stop? Eh, I'm not sure about that actually. As far as I'm aware, they're still dubbing the series very painfully slowly, but at the same time, I don't watch it, so I don't really care. What are your thoughts on how Blackbeard can use two devil fruits? I have to say I'm more of a fan of the idea that Blackbeard is able to eat more than one devil fruit because of who or exactly what he is. I know the logical conclusion is that the Yami Yami no Mi allows him to do it, somehow through its devil fruit nullification powers, but it's also been implied that there is something really weird about Blackbeard, and I'm hoping it's to do with that rather than the fruit. Do you believe that the Grand Line Review can be the number one One Piece channel on YouTube? Yeah, why not? That's what I'm aiming for. Failing that, I just love One Piece and I'll keep babbling about it to anybody willing to listen. What do you think of Evangelion? I have a huge nostalgic soft spot for Evangelion. It was one of the first anime series I ever saw that wasn't intended for kids. The action was fantastic and as a young teenager, the ideas it was presenting were quite challenging. And also as a teenager, it was pretty easy to identify with Shinji, which is much more difficult as an adult because he just seems like a whiny sack of crap. Who is your top three to five hottest female characters in One Piece? In no particular order, Robin, Baby Five, Boa Hancock, Marguerite, and Perona. Which characters would you like to join the Straw Hats in the future? Jinbei. That damn whale shark needs to join already. He's put this off for two arcs now. The damn drama queen? Other than him, I really want another female member of the Straw Hats, but I don't want that member to be Carrot. Have you ever stepped on a landmine? Yes. Can you open a Discord server for us? I sure can. I've recently created one and the link to the server is in the description. Feel free to join on up. We have seen a few examples of technology to allow for flight in the One Piece world. 
though not exactly common. If such technology spreads, how is that likely to affect Marie Joie and the world government? Yeah, surprisingly in this world, flight isn't very common at all, considering we have things like lasers and cyborgs. I'm guessing there's a reason for that, like if the entire Grand Line had a Bermuda Triangle thing going on, but flight would rapidly change the One Piece world in the same way that it revolutionized the real world. How it would affect the world government would depend on who developed it first. If it was the world government, then it would give them an advantage in pretty much every conceivable area, you know, economics, communication, warfare, etc. But if it was the revolutionaries who discovered it first, then, well, that would be a different story. Biggest unpopular opinion on One Piece. My biggest unpopular opinion is that I don't like Ace. As a character, I always thought that he looked cool, but I never really cared for him and I still don't. And now that the internet hates me, I may as well also admit that I'm not so hot on Sabo either, because to me, he's just a new Ace. I know your fave character is Zoro, so I don't need to ask, who's your least fave? That's a hard question, actually. Even the characters I don't like so much have redeeming features, but the one that first pops into my head is Gecko Moria. I don't really like anything about him. Absalom as well. Will you please do a video on Killer? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Black Eye Growl. For anybody who doesn't know, Black Eye Growl is a very determined user who comments on just about every video asking me to do one on Killer. To be perfectly honest, I've been putting him off because I'm pretty sure he's going to appear again in the manga soon, but you've been so diligent that I may as well just make it and live with the fact that it will go out of date quite quickly. So expect the One Piece 101 on Killer to go out pretty soon, and here is the thumbnail for proof. How many subscribers did you think you would have now when you started doing YouTube? Definitely not this many. To put this crazy journey into some perspective, I had just over 500, yes that massive number is 500, at the end of last year, after having the channel for a whole year. Now like five months later I'm at 10,000, and I can barely comprehend that myself. Even when things started to pick up, I set myself a goal of having 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year, and at the time I thought that was being really optimistic. So yeah, I can't believe just how awesome you've all been, so thank you so much guys. If you could eat any devil fruit in the One Piece world, which one would you choose? Also, it's weird calling it the One Piece world. Do people have a name for their planet like how we call ours Earth? For the first part, I would eat Kizaru's fruit, the Pika Pika no Mi. The ability to become and control light would be ever so useful working in my particular industry. Plus, it's just plain cool. As for the planet, I'm sure it has a name, but it hasn't been revealed yet. Do you think the Straw Hat Grand Fleet will grow any bigger? And if so, who from the characters we already know of will eventually join? I personally believe Buggy will eventually join. Yes, definitely. By the end of the series, I think that just about everybody the Straw Hats have met or helped, and in some cases fought against, will join them for whatever the final arc is. This includes people like Buggy, Bellamy, Crocodile, the Mink Tribe, Boa Hancock, and the Kuja Pirates, most of the worst generation, and yeah, let's just say everyone except for Blackbeard and the world government. Do you like hot sauce? If so, what's your favorite type of hot sauce or brand? Mine's Tapatio. Unfortunately not. My mother has no tolerance for anything even remotely hot, and as a result I was raised with, let's say, regular food and very low tolerance for heat. With that said, I've been gradually increasing my tolerance over the last few years, and who knows, I might have a different answer to this question in the future. What is the hardest part about making a video? Probably writing. It just tends to be the longest step, and you don't have the immediate satisfaction of seeing your work in action like you do when you're editing. Do you have any plans to make, get some form of mascot for your channel? Maybe change the profile picture. Yeah, so I was thinking about making Dratini my mascot, just to annoy you, Cages. As for the profile picture, not currently, but I should probably change that photo of me into something more One Piece related. What is your favorite color? It changes, but I prefer vibrant colors to muted colors in general. As a lighting designer, I use a lot of blue in my shows. Probably too much blue. So yeah, let's just say my favorite color is blue. Am I the only one who thinks the reveal of the commanders of the Revolutionary Army was underwhelming? No, they were definitely a bit underwhelming, or more accurately I'd say they were unexpected. Up until now the Revolutionary Army has been portrayed as this huge, terrifying organization, but you know what, considering that Evenkov is one of their top officers, we probably should have expected this sort of thing. Also, we should really give the commanders a chance because most One Piece characters don't really shine during their introductions. Here is an odd question. In what ways does One Piece parallel your sense of idealism? What aspects of the show do you find to be part of an ideal world? Whoa, deep question there. But it's probably the sense of freedom that comes with being a pirate. The Straw Hats are able to live life to the fullest and have amazing adventures, which isn't really possible in the real world due to the requirements of existence. You know, like having a job, paying bills, etc, etc. Where are you from in Australia and your ethnic cultural background? Age and education? 
Any fun jobs in your life? So once again, I live in Sydney and my ethnic background is Caucasian. I have predominantly English, Irish and Scottish ancestry, many of whom were sent to Australia as convicts. I'm 28, I have a university education and I work in theatre so most of my jobs are pretty fun because of constantly changing shows so things never really get boring. If you are forced to live on Okama land or Impul Down, which do you pick? But in Impul Down, you will die of old age. That is 140 in One Piece Universe. Please answer this one. Oh, rough proposition there, but it would probably be Okama land, which is the Kambaka Kingdom, I guess. Because the alternative is rotting away in an underwater prison for 140 years now. Nah. Since every other question is already taken, how was your day? Octopus caring. Good, thank you, Sir Umne. How about yourself? What is your name? My name is Liam. Nice to meet you. How long is your Usopp? I can't really give you a solid measurement because it gets longer every time I lie. How did you learn about One Piece and why do you enjoy it? I enjoy One Piece because it's completely unique. There is no other manga like it in existence and in terms of characters, world building and story longevity. And even though we're now over 900 chapters into the story, it still manages to take us to new places and explore new ideas. How do you think One Piece will end? I think it will be a bittersweet ending and Luffy will probably die, much like Roger, and pass the straw hat onto a new generation. You know, maybe Makino's child or something like that. Can you summarize One Piece in 10 words or less? Yes. If Chopper and Koja Cody met, how would it play out? How adorable would it be? That would probably be the most awkward meeting in the world. They'd both just be terrified of each other. Although I do wonder if Koji would have the ability to control Chopper to some extent because he is half reindeer and all. I have three questions. Why am I never in comment awards? Can you beat Luffy? And are you black bread? I have never done a comment towards, although that's an interesting idea. Yes, I can beat Luffy, and why yes, I am black bread. <laughs> Holy hell, you've got a lot of questions, so I'm just going to pick one that we haven't even come close to answering. Uh, what type of music do you enjoy? Any bands slash artists in particular? My musical taste is pretty eclectic, but I enjoy anything with some energy behind it. Something that makes me want to move. And you can find that sort of music in just about any genre. Pop, rock, metal, musical theatre. And lately I've been listening to a lot of Eurovision actually because it's that time of year. What is your Denden Den Mushi number? Asking for a friend. Huh, well you can get in contact with me through my Discord server, but I'm afraid I don't give out my private Denden Den Mushi details to just anybody. Have you read all of the manga volumes? Sure have. I own every English volume that has been released so far and most of the Japanese volumes as well, although my Japanese is a bit too pathetic to read them properly. How does reverse mountain work? Hmm, sorcery. Definitely sorcery. Do you think Zoro and Robin have been dating each other since a little before Skypea? It's not official, but I see signs and hints to them being together for that long. Not dating, but there's surely some sexual tension that's been building up ever since Robin joined. Are you still planning on doing a Fisher Tiger video? I definitely am. He just keeps getting pushed back. Sorry. Who is your favorite Yonko? Kaido. I know we've seen such little of him, but that introduction alone was enough to make him one of my favorite characters in general. So yeah, he's my favorite Yonko. Did you know the first German anime intro? And if yes, how do you like it? I wasn't aware that Germany even had their own intro, so obviously I had to go and watch it immediately. And you know what? I don't mind it. The guitar is pretty cool and it beats the hell out of the English rap version. Plus in German, Roger sounds like such an angry badass. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Obviously, yes. What happened to the treasure from Thriller Bark? Nami mentioned it at the auction house and after the time skip happened. So what happened to that treasure? I think that rather uncharacteristically, they just got to keep the treasure and have been spending it on meat, clothes and cola. How does it feel that your channel is exploding with popularity of late? Pretty amazing, I'd say. The last few months have been crazy in terms of building an audience, and it's been great to interact with you all in regards to weekly chapters, arc reviews, and miscellaneous crap that I post. I find the discussions I get into as a result of posting a video are a much better experience than just posting on a forum or something. What first got you into One Piece? Also, who is best boy and girl? Thanks. So once again, that's a longer story for another time, but the ultimate credit does need to go to the four kids dub because I would have had no idea that One Piece even existed without it. As sad as that is. Best boy is clearly Zoro, and best girl is the delightful baby five. What would happen if you cooked a devil fruit or used one as an ingredient in a recipe? Could Sanji make one taste good? I think the devil fruits are beyond even Sanji's ability to make taste good. Do you want to be the One Piece YouTuber king? Definitely. I refuse to settle for being a mere YouTube warlord or Yonko. What are your thoughts on the theory that Blackbeard will take Kaido's supposed devil fruit at the end of Wano? 
giving him the strongest devil fruits of each type. I like that theory quite a bit, especially if Kaido has some sort of dragon or ogre fruit. But whether or not it's Kaido, Blackbeard definitely needs a Zoan type. Favorite and least favorite One Piece opening, animation plus music. I've said my favorites previously, but my least favorite is definitely Kaze wo Sagashite. I really don't think you could have chosen a worse song to go through the Impel Down arc with. It's super bright and cheery. It's the one that goes, woo, 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 yay! With all of the tremendously dark images of Magellan's poison and Hannibal saluting with his scary looking guards. I just, oh, sometimes I really don't understand Toei's decision making process. Do you think Luffy will run into Ace's former crew in Wano? Where have they been for these years? Uh, this is just off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure the Spade Pirates all got amalgamated into Whitebeard's crew, didn't they? I don't know, I'll have to look into that. Could Vivi Nefertari join the main Straw Hat crew again? I don't think so. She has her own thing going on, and it's looking very likely that she'll have to take up the mantle of Ruler of Alabaster at some point soon. I believe she'll definitely be a part of Luffy's wider Grand Fleet, though. What Logia Fruit's power could still come? I'm pretty keen for a Blood Logia or something darker along those lines. And the Wind Logia, actually. A Wind Logia would be great fun. Do you think Luffy would be a good electrician? No, but he'd be fantastic insulation. Like, he'd make a really great outer shell of a cable. Is God real? Yes. His name is God Usopp. Do you think Monkey D. Dragon will die in future to bring out further character development in Luffy? Yes, actually. I see Dragon very much becoming a martyr-like figure, and his death will like be the final push the world needs to completely revolt against the world government. Will you ever show you and wife's face? Once again, let's ask her. I am object. That's up to her, really. <laughs> I just read my answer. <laughs> um, potentially, eventually, I don't know. Um, we'll see. Maybe. And just while I've got you here, what devil fruit power would your wife have? The beardy, beardy fruit. I want to be able to grow a long, luscious, thick beard. I nearly said juicy, but beards aren't usually juicy. Thank you, wife. Do you think Zoro has eye garbage? I thought he just had one eye, but a lot of people think it does stuff. What is your Zoro eye theory? I'll preface this by saying it's pretty ridiculous, but my favorite theory about Zoro's eye is that it contains a demon or some sort of curse. Like for example, during the two year time skip, if Zoro learned to master the curse sword by taking the curse into himself and restraining it within his eye. Some sort of crap like that. Are you going to continue doing YouTube after One Piece ends? The moment One Piece ends is when I think my real work begins. As soon as the series is over, I can make definitive videos like One Piece 101s without the fear that they'll immediately go out of date with a new manga chapter. Can Zoan type users change their penises into animals? Sure, I don't see why not. Hi, Grand's Line Review. Do you think Kaido might be way older than we thought and maybe even live during the Void Century? For all we know, he cannot die and this would explain why he was defeated so many times and why he wants to die so badly. Yes, possibly. But I actually subscribe to the theory that Kaido was created by the world government, possibly on Punk Hazard, but who knows how long ago that was. Have you played any of the One Piece games? If so, what are your personal favorites? I've played a few, mostly the ones on the DS, Unlimited World Red was pretty fun, but my personal favorite is probably Jump Ultimate Stars if that counts. Who is the fairest in all the seas? My wife, because she'd kill me if I said anybody else. Favorite post time skip One Piece arc so far? Probably Zoe. It was short, epic, and fun all at once. Are you a fellow arse eater? <laughs> Of course. And just in case anybody is confused about this question, it's a reference to one of my early best comment videos where somebody asked me if Wapple can eat arse. Favorite and least favorite theory you've heard from the One Piece fandom? I think the theory that Meadows is Kaido quite nicely covers both of those at once. Hilarious, but fucking ridiculous. Who would win in a 1v1 fight between Zoro and Sanji? Well, that's Zoro, because he's clearly superior in every way. At what age do you think One Piece is appropriate for? Generally speaking, it's pretty kid-friendly, ignoring the occasional curse word and fan service. Although I guess Newcomer Land could be a deal breaker for a lot of parents. I think One Piece is appropriate pretty early on. I mean, there are some dark themes, but even Disney movies get really dark at points, like The Lion King. Personally, I don't think I would have any issue with my child reading or watching One Piece from about the age of, let's say, seven onwards. And the Okama presence in the series doesn't make me feel uncomfortable. That's more for strictly religious or homophobic parents to get annoyed at. Okay, I just started watching One Piece and I finished Chopper's arc last week. I looked a bit ahead to the Whole Cake Island arc to see what it was about, and the animation gave me depression. Oh, I know how you feel. It feels like they put little effort into the animation. Should I still watch One Piece once I get there? And at what arc does the animation quality drop? 
the animation quality drops when they switch styles, which is just after the Skype era. Long Ring Long Land and Water 7 weren't so bad, but the animation quality absolutely tanks during the Annie Slobby arc, and it just stays shit all the way up to the latest episode in Whole Cake Island. It's really depressing, but that's how Toei wants to run their business, I guess. I actually suggest that you just start reading the manga. Do you think I could do One Piece videos on my channel? I know it sounds like I'm trying to advertise my channel, but I am very passionate about the series and I hope I can make videos as good as yours. Yes, absolutely, why not? In terms of production quality, it's not very difficult to make videos as good as mine. The most important thing is choosing your subject matter very carefully and presenting what you're saying in a precise yet concise manner. How do you rank the five post time skip arcs? Oh, uh, wait a second, I'm just counting. Return to Sabadee, Fishman Island, Punk as a Dress Rosa, Zoe, and Whole Cake Island. That's six arcs, yeah? In any case, this is how I would rank them from best to worst. Zoe, Return to Sabadee, Whole Cake Island, Dress Rosa, Punk Hazard, Fishman Island. Will you do other manga volume cover reviews? I know it's probably not the most popular content, but as a collector, I found them super interesting. And absolutely. I stopped doing them because they really didn't seem to get a whole lot of interest, but I can always try again. And in fact, as a result of receiving this question, I decided to do one for the cover of volume 89. And you know what? It seemed to go down pretty well. So yeah, I'll stick to doing them in the future. Is Kaido a poneglyph? I mean, yes, obviously. He is a poneglyph that ate a Zoan type devil fruit, which is why he is unkillable, because the poneglyphs are indestructible. So unlike Big Mom, Luffy will have to defeat Kaido in order to have Robin read him. And here we are, the final question for this round of the Grand Line Review Q&A. What do you think the One Piece is? All right, that's not a small question at all. And you know what, this might be a cop-out answer, but I really don't want to know. I'm happy to speculate about anything else in the series, but the thing on the internet is with enough people speculating, eventually one of them is going to be correct. And even knowing that one theory you stumbled upon that one time will severely lessen the experience when we do finally find out what the One Piece is. And I really don't want to be experiencing that during the moment where the biggest mystery in the series is revealed. So I try to keep away from speculation about the One Piece itself. And that pretty much does it for the very first Grand Line Review Q&A. Thank you very much if you actually stayed until the end of this video. I hope it's been a worthwhile experience for all of you. And if so, we might look at making this a semi-regular occurrence. So if you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And I look forward to presenting our regular One Piece content shortly. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.